How do you fancy having some new items in your wardrobe, but not having to buy for any patterns? That's right, I've got some fabulous free patterns, perfect for the autumn season ahead. Stay watching. Hello, lovely people. It's Cara here and I am, as ever, so, so mad. Another week has flown by and this week I'm in a new location for a new season. Yep, that's right. Autumn has landed and although it's been unseasonably warm here in the UK this week, that's not going to stop me planning and I want to share with you some of my favourite free patterns for the season ahead. So let's get stuck in. So I'm going to start with tops and I've gone for what I think is sort of a really interchangeable mix here. Something really simple to work with, but there are lots of options. And my first pick for free patterns for the autumn season ahead is the Closet Core Tee. I just love this. Now, I've got some notes here. Now this, it comes in a size 38 to 58, so very size inclusive. And I've seen the short sleeve version of this Closet Core Tee talked about a lot, but no surprises, it also has a long sleeve option, which I think it makes it really versatile for the season ahead and a great layering piece. Now you could really go for this, can you, the plain or a printed, but just such a wearable item. And it's free, which I just think is brilliant. Another really popular favourite, so no surprises on this one, is the Monroe Turtleneck. And this is from Tissuti Patterns. And again, really size inclusive. You've got um, XXS to XXL. And I like actually um, the stock version they've got here because it's actually made in sort of a brushed jersey, which I think would just be super snuggly. But again, really hackable. So the, tur um, the Monroe turtleneck has a um, sort of a grown on, it's not a grown on sleeve, sorry. You've got a short sleeve and then a sleeve extension, which is what makes it long sleeved. So if again, if you wanted to make that short sleeved, you just admit the long sleeve. You've got the turtleneck there, which is a pattern piece on its own. So you could admit that. It's a really, really versatile um, pattern and has been incredibly popular across the sewing community. Do you know, I've never made it, but this could well be the season. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting cracking on that one. Um, and whilst I'm staying on tops, Whilst it's not a top exactly, it is an amazing layer, layering piece. And I know you'll have seen this in the past, so I brought it down with me. This beautiful pattern here is the Pom Pom Waistcoat by Maison Faux, and it is a free pattern. Now the level of detail in this is extraordinary, as is often the case with the free patterns. And free patterns are about getting us to go over to a, a designer and really kind of test out the water of how we feel about their, their instructions, about their drafting and so on. And you know I know I love Maison Fauve and I couldn't not include this. But you get lots of options here. So it's a proper waistcoat, fully lined. I know I've spoken about this on my, on my channel before, but I had to include it because waistcoats are everywhere on the high street right now. Um, and it's a free pattern. So you've got a really good mix of, I've gone for quite a casual um, capsule wardrobe ideas here, but depending on the fabrication of your free pattern choices, you really could mix it up. Oh, just so exciting. Skirts wise, well, that's where what I'm wearing comes in and I'll pop a picture in here as well. I This is a new pattern to me um, and I haven't heard it talked about a huge amount in the sewing community. Um, Apologies if I've missed that in a recent video, but I am wearing, wearing the Elemental Skirt by Soho 7. This is at the point you all go, ah, oh, we all know about that, but I didn't. Um, and I've made two of them. So this is the Elemental Skirt. It is the most simple construction. You literally got to fold over there on the elastic, but I really like how they've done it. But it's, and it's a, it's actually quite a traditional pencil skirt, to be honest, and it is super quick. Well, that is, if you get the right size, if you decide to grade it after you've um, attached the elastic into the waist, ask me how I know, then it's a little bit more complex because it's, it's really nicely finished, but you basically sew it down. So note to self, if you, <laughs> if 
you think you might need to do some adjustments, don't sew it down first. Um, in fact, just get the elastic right before you put it on. Because honestly, the skirt I'm wearing took me moments. Um, and this is, uh, this is it's actually a knit fabric, actually. It's quite lightweight, which is just as well, because I discover that twin sets made out of jersey are quite warm, especially in this warm weather. Go figure, end of October. But anyway, um, really simple to make. And uh, I bought this in the rag market in Birmingham. Um, and then the cream version, I thought I'd brought it down with me, but it turns out I haven't, so apologies for that. But the cream version here, you'll have seen me wear the, um, the cream, uh, I'm sorry, this is an LB pullover top by Paper Theory Patterns. I wear this all the time. I've worn the cream one all the time. I make no apology. It's one of my favorite patterns. But I did a co-ord set with the, um, the, the LB pullover top in this lovely cream fabric. And I think you might have remembered me saying a few weeks ago that I had the smallest remnant left and I made the elemental skirt. And this was the one that I'd made the elastic too wide. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll just grade it in at the sides. Can't do that when your elastic is fixed in and not loose <coughs> in the waistband. But I love this combination. Just so, it's such great fun. Um, and in actual fact, the L, um, so the Monroe turtleneck from Tassiti Patterns is an incredibly similar style to this, although not as loose fitting. So you can actually replicate that whole look with a free top using the, the turtle um, neck um, from uh, Tassiti Patterns, and obviously then the elemental skirt from So House 7. So, oh, just dreamy. Um, and then I've done another skirt as well, which is a bit more of a formal look, but depending what you make it out of, definitely is bang on trend and, oh, well, I think hugely versatile. I have actually made one of these and this is this silk skirt by Grasser Patterns um, and that comes in sizes um, sizes 38 to 58. Um, actually, do you know what? Before I talk about that one, let me just go back to the elemental skirt a moment because actually I didn't tell you about the sizes. So the skirt I'm wearing, which is the elemental skirt by Soho 7, um, has actually two different size bands and you've got standard 0 to 20 and curvy 18 to 34. So again, really size inclusive. Apologies for not adding that in. But yeah, just, just love it. And it is so quick to make. The silk skirt, which is the one I was telling you about a moment ago, is from Grasser Patterns. And it's actually a bias cut silk skirt. Again, super, super simple to make. You literally cut two pieces, one on the front, one on the back, and you've got elastic around the top and you simply fold it in and stitch it down. Super, super easy. And if you wanted to, you could do a rolled hem on your overlocker on the bottom, or a baby hem would do the same, but a rolled hem on the bottom would create that sort of lovely lettuce look, and well, it would be a super speedy make. And the grasser skirt, which is grasser patterns, is comes in size 38 to 58. That's European sizes, so not quite as size inclusive, but still a, a really good range to go for there. I will put the stock photo in here, and if I can find it, I made one of these. Um, it must have been about 18 months, maybe two years ago. I'm not actually sure what happened to it. It was made in a red satin. So if I can find that, I will put it in here. If not, it's the stock photo, but I love it. And again, just imagine you've got that closet core tee, which is a really, nice not too not tight not too loose fitting t-shirt tucked you know it's like that like french tuck like i've done here um into that silk skirt oh. and it doesn't have to be silk by the way what you need is something that's got a reasonable amount of drape it will be cut on the bias and that's what gives you that slinky kind of finish and it actually even on a woven fabric when you cut it on the bias it gives you a slight um, stretch so it's a super comfortable skirt to wear and I just love this because you can wear that with little boots, you can wear it with little pumps, sandals if you're going away somewhere in the summer or if you're in a different part of the world, as many of my lovely viewers are, just amazing. And oh, just such such versatility. I meant to include actually when I was talking about Maison Fauve that you know I love Maison Fauve and I couldn't not mention, just as a bonus feature if you like, the grenadine skirt. I do, I am an ambassador for them, but um, I do it because I love it and I couldn't not share this with you. And it's that creased, 
because of the amount of times I wear this skirt and the other two that I've made as well. A free pattern with this beautiful design. I couldn't not mention this and a lot of people have asked me because it is quite a short skirt. You easily could lengthen this, um, no problem whatsoever to definitely, because this is sort of uh, mid thigh, you definitely could lengthen this to um, knee length or longer. And I've, you would actually be able to, to cut this as one piece as well without the um, beautiful detail on here, because this is actually two pattern pieces and you sandwich this in the middle, but it has got a beautiful um, zip detail here. So not a invisible zip, but beautifully finished. But I couldn't not tell you about that. So I thought I'd just add that in as a bonus feature. <laughs> Let's move on to some trousers. And I came across a pattern from a company that I've not heard of before, which is always really exciting. And everybody wants something comfortable in autumn, don't they? And I am all about leisure wear, but leisure wear with a bit of twist is what I'm gonna say on that. And so I've chosen these, and these are the basic yoga pants. And this is from Birch Organic Fabric Company. And they come in XL, XS to XL. So I head over to the website to see the, the range of sizes with that. But I thought this is a really cute free pattern that's not too baggy, not too loose, just perfect, comfortable but stylish. And again, this in a lovely pontaroma um, or a lovely sweatshirting oh, with the mon you know, with the turtleneck there. Oh, just yeah, nailing it. Um, and then another free pattern, which is an absolute classic in terms of trousers, is the Peppermint Magazine Wide Leg Trouser. Now. I have made this pattern a lot. So the Peppermint Magazine Wide Leg Trousers. Now this used to be a free pattern, but it's now a pay what you can pattern, but I do believe you can get it free um, if you wanted to, but they just slightly changed how they're doing their site, which I totally admire, obviously. And I've made these trousers many times. I just love them for a free pattern, as with all of the selection, actually. It's just quite extraordinary. Now. Peppermint Magazine have many free patterns, as does Maison Faux, who I've mentioned, and So House Heaven. So I'm just choosing just one item out of a range of wonderful free designs. It's just exquisite. Um, let me share with you, I think, let me share with you the more autumnal versions of my wide leg trousers by Peppermint Magazine. Although I have to say, in the summer, I surprised myself. So if you are somewhere else in the world, I surprised myself and made um, a pair of trousers out of viscose. Now this is a proper pair of trousers with a zip fly and everything. I wasn't expecting it to come out well um, or last or you know not crease too much, all those sorts of things. But I made these um, for actually the trip I think I was wearing uh, when I bought this to, uh, when I went to Birmingham. So I will put that photo in, but I'll also share with you the other photos as well. Um, I'm trying to think which other ones, the leopard print, uh, leopard, no, not leopard, zebra print um, trousers has to be one of my most worn pair of trousers. Just love this pattern. It is sort of a ankle length trouser, but you can definitely extend that and make it longer. And they, they do their sizing in sort of A to J. So I write down the inches of the size of that. And that's a 24 inch to 45 inch trouser, just it's brilliant and because zip construction is brilliant, the instructions are amazing. They are quite similar, if I'm honest, to the Thea trousers um, from Tilling the Buttons and the construction is very similar as well. Having made both, I am on the fence, if I'm honest. I actually think I prefer the wide leg trouser from Pe Peppermint Magazine, but I have made lots of the Thea trousers too. So, and it's, it really is much of a muchness, um, if, if I'm honest on that. Um, and then the last category here is um, jumpers and cardies. And I've got a new to me pattern company here. And this is the Heather Sweater by NH Patterns. This is very exciting because actually the range of patterns on this site is lovely and I haven't come across it before. So I'm really looking forward to having a closer look at the rest of the items. And that, as I said, um, I might have said earlier, is the point of these free patterns. It draws you to a designer that you might not have seen before. Um, and, and then you, know, you build a new, a new wardrobe with new patterns, which is great. And this free 
sweater, the heather sweater. Um, it's got two size bandings. So we've got a 4 to 18, which is drafted with a B cup. And you've got a 16 to 32, which is drafted with a D cup, which is amazing for a free pattern. Honestly, just love it. The next pattern, again, is a very popular pattern in the sewing world and nothing new here, but I absolutely adore it. And that is the Harper cardigan, and that is by Sinclair Patterns. They have a size range of eight, UK 8 to 26, but within that, you can choose from a petite, regular or tall, which is amazing. So um, if you are one or the other, then you won't have to worry about shortening, lengthening your, your, your pattern pieces. Just wonderful. And I brought down with me um, my latest one, although it's going to clash horribly with what I'm wearing. But I actually made one using the fabric that I bought in France recently. Now, this is a double sided fabric. And as I explained to you in the video, um, I wasn't sure that this was particularly my colour. It's actually coming up like an oatmeal colour there, but it's actually um, it's definitely a pink. If I sit back a little bit, yeah, so it's more it's like a blush pink colour, which I'm not sure is my colour scheme, but I absolutely adore this colour. And let me put some pictures in here of me wearing this. I think I've got a whippet invasion in this footage. I make no apology. They're a massive part of my life. They're currently very grumpy with me because I've just shut them out of the lounge whilst I'm videoing here. Oh, here's my lady Lala star, um, who sadly passed, our, um, passed away earlier in the year. So, very quick and simple to, to make this. I finished it on the overlocker. I didn't use my sewing machine at all. I turned the cuffs up so that you've got a little level of detail there. Um, I didn't put pockets on the front, but you could. But, or did I? I can't remember. Let's have a look. I don't think so. No, decided not to put cuffs on the front, uh, pockets on the front, because I actually thought I was on the cusp of it maybe looking a bit dressing gowny if I did, but I don't think it does. I really, really like it. Um, and let me just slice a bit of footage in now because it's portrait so that you can see it. Okay, so keeping it real here, this is what happens when you try and put a jacket on in your haul. But I'm trying to show you the half a cardigan here. I know it's portrait. Hello, lovely girls. It's my lovely Alice and lovely Teeny. Hi, boo. Um, but they, this is my hallway, and they think we're going out now for a W A K L A W A L K. But this is the half a cardigan. I'm super pleased with this. It's very, very warm, and especially on with this outfit. But oh, it's going to be perfect. And I definitely could wrap this and um, pop a belt on. Might even make a, um, a self fabric belt, but I haven't done that yet. It's actually quite like the open style of it, but yeah, free pattern, free pattern, free pattern, a winner. Okay, I have one more pattern to talk to you about. Again, it's a company that I don't use very often, but it's talked about on free pattern videos a lot. And that is from mood patterns uh, and it's called the, the no noel sweater collection now let me put the stock photo in here oh, you get a lot of design options here for a free pattern it's quite extraordinary so you've actually got a poncho with a roll neck here which i think is super cute um, and also there's an option for a dress as well oh, just amazing um, for a free pattern and the size range is very good it's um, 00 to 32. Now that's American sizes, but again, I wrote down the inches and it's 31 inches to 59.5 inches. So definitely something there for everybody, which is just lovely. So I hope you like what I've cura curated there. You've got some simple tops, you've got a poncho, you've got some leisure wear, you've got some skirts that are sort of day to night, if you like. You've got a couple of pairs of trousers that you can opt, opt for and the half a cardigan, what I didn't really say because I've totally undersold just how versatile this is. This comes in a cropped, a midi, a knee length and a full length option. So genuinely, there is one of everything in this. I kept this true to size when I was making it um, and I didn't say before, but it comes in size 8 to 26. So again, really nice and inclusive. Um, but you basically can make this in a whole variety of different fabrics and there would be something for everybody in this. 
and basically it's either a cardigan or it's a coat again isn't it or more like a coat if you make it in a thicker fabric so definitely something for everybody i hope you enjoyed seeing that i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel i really really do appreciate the support and there are lots of people i'd like to say thank you to i would really like to say to elizabeth who is the stitchy wife on here on youtube and over on instagram as well Elizabeth posted the loveliest story this week about supporting me and my channel and um, the impact I have on her. So Elizabeth, talking directly to you, what you said just means the world to me and I'm super grateful for your support. But there are so many of you that reach out to me on a weekly basis and I absolutely love receiving messages from you. Um, but thank you, uh, your support of my channel and your messages to me on a regular basis do mean the world to me. I would love it if you would subscribe so that you can help my community to grow and I look forward to coming to back to you next week actually with some more inspiration so stay tuned for that and I'll see you next week. Thanks everybody!